Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an external editor with Reaper. And I have a track in front of me here of a clean guitar part, but it has a little glitch towards the end of the first chord. Let's hear it. Right here. Now we can fix this inside Reaper by copying and pasting a piece from over here to over here, but I want to fix this in an external editor. This way we can redraw it using a pencil tool at the sample level, which is something we can't do in Reaper. So I'm going to use a program called Audacity. This is a very simple audio editor that's going to let us draw our waveforms using a pencil tool. And I chose this one because it's free and open source and it works on Mac or PC. So go to the website, download it, and let's go back to Reaper. Now we're going to go to the preferences. And we're going to scroll down here to external editors. Then we'll choose to add one and we'll browse to find Audacity. Now keep in mind, you can use any editor that you want. We're just going to use Audacity in this video. Because, like I said, it's simple and it's free. So we'll browse to find it, and it's in this folder right here. So I'll double click it. The path shows up here. Hit OK, and then it shows up over here. Now we could choose a primary application and a secondary one, but we're just going to use one for now. Then we can hit OK, and now we're going to select the piece of audio we want to edit. So I'll select this, right click it, and go down here to Open Items in Editor, and we'll choose Open Items in Audacity. And that'll open up. The Audacity application. Now we can choose some options. We can read the files directly from the original, which we want to be careful with because it's going to write over the original, or we can make a copy, which is considered safer. But with Reaper, it doesn't really matter, as you'll see. So let's work with the original. Hit OK. It opens the audio, and we can see right here is our glitch. Let's click right here. And let's zoom in. That's a pretty nasty glitch. And if we get close enough, we can use our pencil tool to redraw it. So we can go over here and grab the pencil tool and redraw the waveform. Right now, it sounds like this with that nasty glitch, but we can redraw it just like this. Smooth it out. Now let's hear the difference. Much better. So now we want to save it to bring it back into Reaper. Now we don't have to save the Audacity file. We just want to save the audio. So instead of choosing Save Project, we're just going to export the audio file. And from here, we can rename the file and put it back in the same folder that Reaper was using. Here's the original file. Now, if we name it the same, it's going to replace the original. So let's do that. Hit save. It warns us that's going to overwrite the original file. And now we can go back to Reaper. Now, if you notice, the waveform is missing. So if that happens, go to the item menu and go down here to peaks and rebuild all the peaks. So it's going to rebuild the file based on what we just changed. And if you notice, that glitch is no longer there. So we fixed it. But if we're not happy with the change, we can still go back to the original. Let me show you how. Just right click it, go to Item Properties, choose New File. And if we go back to that folder, we can see that Reaper automatically renamed the old file. So, we created a backup in case we didn't like the change. So, we can choose this one and it's going to replace it or put it back to the old file. 
See the glitch is back. So it makes it real easy in case you make a mistake. But another way we could do it is to rename the file when we export it from Audacity. Let me show you that way. So we'll do the same thing. Right click it, open items in editor, open the item in Audacity. Once again, we'll use the original. And again, we'll fix it by zooming in and using the pencil tool. Just redraw it. Make sure it sounds good. But this time, we're going to export it and give it a different name. We'll name the Queen Guitar Fixed and save that. Go back to Reaper. But this time, the old file is still there. But we can swap it out very easily. Just right click it, Item Properties. Choose new file and choose the file that we fixed. This one right here. So the Reaper replaces it with the new one. And it sounds perfect. But there's still one other way I want to show you. Let's undo this. Reaper could also create a copy so we could choose later which version we prefer. Let me show you. Once again, we'll right click it, open items in editor, but this time we'll choose the option down here, open item copies in Audacity. So Reaper's gonna create a copy before we even start editing. So let's choose that. Once again, it opens Audacity, and again, we can use the original, because it's already a copy. And we can see that right here. Clean guitar, copy 01. So again, we'll fix it by redrawing it with the pencil tool. Make sure it sounds good. Export it. And it's already a copy. So I'll keep the same name and let it replace this copy. Again, it warns us. So we'll replace it. And if we go back to Reaper, once again, we should rebuild the peaks. And now we could hear the fixed version. But if you look up here, it says take two of two. So Reaper created another take, one before and one after. So if I hit T, it goes back to the first take. with that glitch. So we can compare it and make sure we actually fixed it. Hit T again, it goes to take two. And that take is fixed. And we can see the difference if we zoom in. Here's the glitch, hit T, we fixed it, back and forth. So in this way, we can make sure we fix it before we replace it. And when we're sure which take we want to use, not this one, but this one, just right click it, go to take, and crop to the active take. So now we just have the fixed version. Although we could always go back by right clicking, item properties, and choose the original. And it restores the original. So there's so many different ways to avoid making a mistake. But having the option of an external editor can really be helpful when you really want to redraw your waveform. So that's pretty much it. That's using an external editor in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.